Well, that's looking promising. Oh boy. Down at negative 16 last night, I think it was. Now, we're back down in the <coughs> negative late 20s. Ooh, and it feels like it. I'm gonna lock the deadbolt on this thing, I'll be right back. Not to say that this door doesn't get near impossible to lock and unlock in this cold. So now you're actually going to get to hear what it sounds like for this truck to start up after sitting for about 16 hours without running. Because I got in, I think it was like 8 o'clock last night. Okay, so it's only been about 14 hours. But anyway, let's hear it start up like negative 30 degrees after sitting for so long. Oh, and the key cylinder, like it won't spring back from start position. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. All right, here goes. Ooh, really hard clutch pedal. <laughs> that does not sound healthy. Okay, this is clutch in. I'm gonna let the clutch out. Transmission, yeah, like I said last night, it's gonna be like super it doesn't want to go into gear. <laughs> and now, clutch out. Lug lug. <laughs> unhappy truck is unhappy. <laughs> oh man. And like when it gets this cold, the load doesn't even work. So. I don't even know why it's there. <laughs> the fan doesn't function. <laughs> and the battery is flashing now. Yay. <laughs> so we're going to take off here. We're going to go back to the wood center and upload about six more videos, hopefully. I'll be quiet. And hopefully I'll be all caught up by then. Have some videos rendered while I'm working. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if we can see in just a second what the temperature is hanging at down here. Just negative 27. That's it? Negative 27 is all? Well, maybe our thermometer at the cabin isn't so stuck after all. <laughs> That's a funny thought. You know, the truck is warming up a little quicker than usual, so I guess we're not in the 30s after all. <laughs> Good stuff for me, I guess. Yes, I just bypassed the university. I decided I want Taco Bell first, so I'm going to do that. And it's going to be good. My mom commented on uh, my video just another day. 118, I think it was. And said, I want your nachos. <laughs> so, now I want my nachos again. So I'm going to get nachos and it's going to be good. Hopefully. Anyway. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> the awesomeness of the awesome nachos, the extra, extra large, and delicious. Well, obviously I'm not at the wood center right now. <laughs> we uh, had a little bit of a detour. This heater, like, since we got here, like, this thing, every now and then when it starts up, we'll get a puff of diesel uh, exhaust coming out of the heater and from what we've heard this isn't a normal situation obviously all of the exhaust is supposed to go out of the cabin so the cabin landlord gave me or sent me a text about five seconds after I pulled up to Taco Bell <laughs> and said oh, you want to come you want me to come out and check this thing out real quick so I'm back at the cabin I'm waiting on him now and I'm going to eat this awesome plate of nachos it's gonna be good. 
Because it was before and it will be now. Thank you, Mom, for reminding me that I really freaking love these nachos. In the meantime, my truck is just going to sit right there for now and wait for me. My laptop here because I don't want it to freeze. My truck... My, my poor clutch. I wonder if maybe the cold is the effect on the clutch because it's really, really spongy right now. It's not at all like it should be. Like, the clutch releases at least 30% of the pedal before it's supposed to. So I got to be careful when I'm doing my shifts. I got to actually put the clutch pedal on the floor instead of just half clutching it like I usually do. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy these now, and you guys can watch one bite, but I'm not going to bother with the rest, so. Mm-hmm. Yep. Downstream bandwidth is definitely limited. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's reporting down at the airport where it's definitely a lot colder. So, we're going to get a video started here. And it's going to be, I think, and we'll show. Yeah. Upstream is awesome. 2.5, and it's jumped up to 3.5 before, so. Pretty awesome. So hopefully, maybe, I'll be able to get all of my backlog vlogs uploaded today. Well, four videos uploaded and I fell asleep here later. <laughs> this couch is incredibly comfortable. But now, the temperature has dropped even further. And I have to leave because the center closes in 19 minutes. I'm waiting for a thumbnail to show up on this one and then we'll pack up and go to face this place. By the way, pomegranate 7-Up. Really good stuff. No, this is not Dr. Pepper. This is the same bottle that's in my uh, Vlog 123, which just got uploaded. And there's my thumbnail. Yay. Oh, it's me, this, or me. Hmm, okay. It can stay. Closing tab. In the meantime, back to the forum. And no new posts. Close, close. And this is the next vlog to be worked on. Number 126. Because 125... It's not going to go up today. It's too big. <laughs> These files are too freaking big. <laughs> so we'll close out of that and we'll do this. First, we'll disconnect from this. Otherwise, my little bandwidth meter here jumps up to like over 9,000. We don't like that very much, so. F and escape. And she'll go to sleep in a minute. And yeah, that was totally a quick minute. That's because I cut out the excess. Obviously. Duh, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. I don't feel very good. <laughs> So now I'm at the University Ice Skating Rink for a holiday show that's going on tonight. I think they were actually supposed to start at 5.30, but I guess they're running a little late. <laughs> I can't hear a word they're saying.
the holiday thing's over, but now we're watching something else. A little more interesting, I think. <laughs> I'm not even really into hockey, and this is more interesting to me. <laughs> Ain't that sad. <laughs> I can't stay on this too long, otherwise the copyright people will get me at YouTube, so <laughs> enjoy. Whatever comes next, if anything. These girls just tried to throw the puck at me. Ended up in the net up here. And now it's there. <laughs> kid just picked it up. Free souvenir, kid. Hope you like it. <laughs> Unbelievably, I'm actually enjoying this. I've never been much of a any kind of sports fan, but I find myself just actually liking this. It's fun to watch. Rooting for the home team. Why not? <laughs> See if I can do this for a little bit. Follow the puck. Not at this zoom range. <laughs> switch. Chuck that thing at the ground, don't they? Nope, they touched it. <laughs> They're not playing hockey with each other, they're playing hockey with the wall. Uh, yeah, that's what's going down here. <laughs> 8.06 in the evening. Not really feeling like leaving yet, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I might wait out the game. A little time. Good God. Oh. 
Oh, keep that thing still. <laughs> I can't follow at that rate. Oh. My poor camera is going to die before I get a chance to finish this. We're just going to fall around the edge here. And we end up in the That was the end of that. <laughs> I guess they managed to get one in over there. flying all over the place. Bring it back over here so I can see it. Nope. <laughs> Man, I would not be on I would not be on that ice with those skates flying at my face. There's just no freaking way. These people are nuts. <laughs> Supposed to trip over yourself. Oh, that was close.
two minute break. Well, I guess the game's over. Didn't look like it was much anyway. They tied one to one. Ended at a period three. I don't know how many periods are supposed to be in a game. I think it's supposed to be four. <laughs> so, it's time to go. Hmm. Maybe I should have pulled him forward instead of backing in. <laughs> my, cord, my cord would probably not be airborne on the side like it is. And oh man, I just know my truck is going to hate me. Look at my window. I can't even see out of that. <clears throat> Not too bad. Probably because I haven't been here that long, I guess. <laughs> Only since about 5.30 or so, and like, eh, okay, about three and a half hours. All right. But now, it is time to go home. Well, we're gonna find out what the temperature is first just as soon as I plug this end into its end and swing it up over my ah of course it had to hit me instead of doing what it's supposed to ah I can't do this with a camera in my hand <laughs> get in there jeez I just gotta just hang it over the side now so it doesn't get all in the snow terrible Anyway, I will be right back with the current temperature of this cold freaking city. Well, already we're having a bad sign. My gas pedal is stuck. It won't move. Which means I gotta be really careful with the clutch. Ah, I can't push the gas. This is just perfect, man. Oh, great. Alright, this sucks. Now I gotta turn my flashers on again. Ay, ay, ay. Does it ever end? Alright, I gotta find a good place to pull off here. Yeah, it's really not a good idea to leave your truck in neutral on a hill, I guess. But... Unfortunately, I know what the problem with this thing is. Yeah, we're just gonna keep rolling back. <laughs> this thing is stuck. There we go. Let's see if that helped. I told you that throttle sticks. For those of you who didn't believe me. Okay, I think we're all right now. <laughs> All right, now let's go find out what the temperature of this place is. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, well. That is officially the lowest I've ever seen this sign. Yeah. Negative 38. Just ouch, man. Just ouch. Oh man, negative 38. And I'm sure it's only gonna get worse as the night goes on, you know? My truck is going to completely hate me in the morning if I decide to go anywhere. If it decides to start at all. I really should have gotten that battery charger when I had a chance, but now I'm about to have a green light, so I'll talk to you in a bit. You know? <laughs> you know? It's sad. As if this windshield wasn't cracked up enough. Now, this ding has just gone bling out that direction and out this direction and out this direction. And would probably expand over time. So now, this windshield has three brand new cracks in it. And they're right in my field of vision! Damn it! 